Jaffa in 1903. Pilgrims and tourists have their first experience of the Holy Land. The arrival is uncomfortable. They can only go ashore in rowing boats. with the Oriental world in the alleys. Biblical footsteps is difficult. It seems as if this neglected region of the expiring Ottoman Empire had been consigned to divine vengeance. nation is the city of Jerusalem, sanctuary of three religions. destroyed Zion, but also the wandering Jewish people's destination. The Dome of the Rock, sanctuary of the Muslims, the true people of the Ottoman Empire. Churches and monasteries in the historical places of the passion and salvation of Christ. A different view of Jerusalem. In front of the town gates, lepers beg for alms. Souvenir for the family at home, water from the Jordan River. Palestine was not very much longer meant to be the province of the Ottoman Empire. The arrival of the German Kaiser, William II, on the shore of the Bosphorus. He regards himself as a protector of the Germans living in Palestine. Here he's wearing Turkish uniform, whilst on an inspection tour of the military forces of his Turkish ally in autumn 1917. But English units are capturing southern Palestine.
Very soon, German and Turkish soldiers will be taken prisoner by Indian units of the British Army. Jerusalem is captured by the British Army without fighting. English and Australian soldiers enter the city on the street which was built for the visit of the German Kaiser in 1898. General Allenby, on foot as a sign of humility towards the holy city, marches his troops into Jerusalem through the Jaffa Gate on the 11th of December, 1917. From the steps of the citadel, he announces that every sacred building will be maintained and protected. His proclamation is published in English, French, Italian, Arabic and Hebrew. At the reception, Christian clerical ministers are predominant, although two-thirds of the population are already Jewish. The Egyptian soldiers of the British Army take part in a great Muslim procession. destination is the Haram es Sharif, third sanctuary of the Muslims. Conquerors feel like tourists, enjoying the beauty of the city. for General Allenby's forces, which move northward. Arabian inhabitants are requisitioned to work. Emir Faisal, about to become king of Syria, welcomes Colonel T. E. Lawrence, legendary figure of the anti-Turkish Arab revolt. Lawrence arranges contacts with Faisal and Kaim Weizmann, chairman of the Zionist Commission. After the Balfour Declaration in London, the Zionist Commission, initiated by the British government, arrives in Palestine in April 1918.
The scope of the commission is to coordinate Zionist work in Palestine, to organize the Jewish population and to found a Jewish university. Chaim Weizmann said, we Jews intend to live in peace with the Arabs. We don't intend to come to Palestine as conquerors, but as a people which returns to its homeland. <laughs> 